Welcome to our recipe training session on Market Man. As we begin today, we'll explore recipes, a crucial aspect of your inventory and menu management. Throughout this session, we'll cover building recipes, allergens, recipe book features, and menu profitability report. First, let's start with key terms. Navigate to items and setup. Inventory items are your raw ingredients. Subrecipes or preparations are items made in bulk like sauces, and menu items are the dishes on your POS system. All right, now let's dive into creating recipes. To begin, click on subrecipes or preparations. I'll walk you through an example of building a subrecipe. Let's start by adding each ingredient with its relevant unit of measure and quantity. Just make sure you select either purchased items, subrecipe, or preparations. As you do this, the system collects the relative prices to give the cost per yield. Moving on to the inventory tab, if you want to count what's left, you can place the item in a storage area and choose the counting options. Additionally, we can also set the minimum on hand and the par level. Now, here's something important. We can also turn this sub recipe into a preparation item. However, this action is irreversible, so let's explain it first. Subrecipe is essentially a short-term batch, like sliced tomato for hamburger, while preparation is a long-term batch that is tracked in the system, like hamburger patties that are made in advance and frozen. The key difference derives from the depletion of the items involved in the recipe. So for subrecipes, the ingredients are going to be depleted in function of your sales. Let me give you an example. Your recipe includes 10 grams of olive oil. When you log a sale, those 10 grams and all the ingredients involved with the subrecipe will be depleted from your inventory. On the other hand, for preparations, you need to run a production event every time you make it. This is exactly how you will be able to track its inventory. Let me illustrate this with another example. One liter of Alfredo sauce contains one liter cream, 250 grams garlic, and 100 grams onion. So when we run the production event, all those ingredients will deplete from the on-hand level. Then, as we log a sale, the Alfredo sauce will relatively deplete as a whole prep rather than in the ingredients level. Based on this, we suggest you start with subrecipes. Once you get comfortable with how the depletion works, you can better decide how you want to manage and track your batches. Moving along to the Procedure tab, we can add a picture, prep time, instructions, and so on. This naturally builds your recipe book, which is automatically populated with all your recipes into a beautiful, user-friendly format. What's great is that it's accessible on both web and mobile app, making it an excellent training tool for new employees. Plus, you can easily control the view between list and images, edit categories, and print your recipe book whenever needed. Speaking of your recipe book, one of its most important features is the allergen information display. The system automatically integrates allergen information into your recipe book, making it easy for your staff to stay informed and aware. You have flexible options for setting up these allergens. You can define them in bulk at the purchase item level, or use file upload for multiple items. Let's look at another powerful feature. The menu profitability report shows your profitability on a menu item level, helping with data-driven decisions. Specifically, the report presents total sales minus recipe costs to show total profit, displayed through intuitive graphs and detailed tables. Better yet, you can view your top 10 most profitable items and analyze individual menu item performance. We highly recommend reviewing this report monthly to stay on top of costs and trends. Above all, remember that keeping your recipes and inventory data up to date is key to getting the most from these features. And of course, if you have any questions, our friendly support team is available via chat, email, and through the Help Center. Here's to your success with MarketMan.